Who is the international award-winning realtor who just wrote her very first book? Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to the Real Justine Priestley channel. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist here in Greater Vancouver. And in this video, I'm interviewing my mom. Hi, I'm her mom. <laughs> <laughs> And the answer to that question is Sharon Mason, my mom, has written her very first book. For the love of real estate, tales from the trenches. Ta-da! <laughs> How did it feel to hold your book for the first time today, Mom? Well, I can just tell you it is a surreal experience. And to actually hold it in your hands and you just feel like hugging it because <laughs> You can't believe that it's actually real. It's a real book and I wrote it and I'm on the cover. And looking beautiful on the cover, I might add. Oh, well, thank you. So what was the initial, very beginning inspiration for this book? These things that happened, you know, with various clients and they would always say to me, Sharon, you're gonna have to write a book. You really have to put all this in a book. Finally, about 18 months ago, a lady named Lorraine Jensen, who's been my client since 1984, she said to me, so Sharon, when are you gonna finally write that book? And you know what? I thought at my age, I better hurry up. And I actually wrote the book in six weeks because I have so much knowledge and I have so much expertise and I have so much that I want to teach people about what really goes on behind the scenes in real estate, what it really takes to become a realtor and stay a realtor and be a career realtor, committed to helping people and not letting them get hurt in real estate. What makes this book different from other books about real estate? Well, other books about real estate that, that I'm aware of, I mean, I'm certainly not aware of them all. They're more, um, more technical, like giving advice, checklists, the title, for the love of real estate, the subtitle, Tales from the Trenches, that tells you, you know, you come right into the real estate trenches with me, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're gonna read some of the stories, and you're gonna shake your head and say, you gotta be kidding me. It's all based on stories, my personal stories, and you'll get to meet the characters that took part in these stories, real people, change their names to protect the innocent. The lessons that we learn as realtors and business people, but also the life lessons, the life lessons that we all need to carry with us. And Justine wrote um, a testimonial for my book. And she said it was about being in the world. And, and I really love that because this, this book is like, it's very, big picture and very experiential. You'll feel like you've had these experiences in, in the trenches, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, the, the, I can't get the stories out of my mind. <laughs> like, I feel like I was there. I feel like I met Shandy the dog mm -hmm. <laughs> with the purse. Right. <laughs> and that is a great opportunity for you to smoosh the like. Smoosh, give it a smoosh, mom. Smoosh. <laughs> What is your favorite story from the book? I had a call from this realtor and she wanted me to help these people sell their house. So uh, the mother had passed away and um, she left the house to her son and daughter and they were also the executors of the will. So the son just happened to be living in the house rent free. Now his sister living in, in uh, Manitoba, she was paying rent and she got kind of fed up with her brother living rent free on her inheritance. So we got an offer and it was a good offer. And he said, we're not taking it. We're not taking the offer. I'm, I'm, I'm not taking that. So I went right home and I called his sister and uh, she said, we're taking it. <laughs> so sibling, the sibling thing was happening. The next day, my phone rings while I'm out on tour with my real estate company and Guess who? Right, Mr. Gerard. And he is screaming at me on the phone. You shouldn't be talking to my sister. You're dealing with me. How dare you ask her? You know, like, and I thought, woo, I really thought that guy was an adult. Anyway, I couldn't get a word in edgewise, but my manager was standing right next to me. So I said, I said to him, Mr. Gerard, oh, excuse me. Okay, I know you're mad at me. So now you have to talk to my manager. And I gave Ellie the phone. 
Here's what she did. She took the phone and we had a piece of paper. She wrinkled it up in a little ball and she held it up by the phone and went crunch, crunch, crunch with the paper. And then she said, missing your few words. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Can't really, Can't really hear, you. hear you. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Bad connection. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And then she hung up. <laughs> And here's what I learned. Pick your battles. Delegate when you can. The book is really funny. I was laughing out loud quite often during the editing process. Uh -oh. <laughs> How was it narrating the audiobook? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> well, it's like reading a book to yourself, reading it out loud. And I really have to say that I <clears throat> really enjoyed doing it. You know, I really felt and hoped and prayed that other people would enjoy it too. It's an easy read and it's a fun read and it's very educational and very entertaining. What do you hope people will get out of this book? Like, what would you like people to say when they finish the last page? That's a very good question, Justine. And, and what I'd like is for them to close the book and say, I will never see realtors or the world of real estate the same again, because now I've been in the trenches and now I have a real appreciation and understanding of what really goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, I think this book definitely illustrates it for people in a way that I've never seen before. So what's harder, mom, being a realtor or being an author? Oh, being a realtor definitely is harder than being an author. Being a realtor is an ongoing, you're always in school, you're always getting educated, you're always taking courses. You're, the demands on, on your professionalism are so high all the time and uh, you're under the inspection of the government all the time. The, the amount of responsibility, because you know, you're always dealing with people's biggest investment of their whole life, hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars that are being entrusted to your care. It, that is a very serious job. There, there's nothing trivial about it. Being an author, the challenges with that are quite different because it's a big permanent thing. But in many ways, it feels like jumping off a cliff because I, I had no idea what this was gonna look like or feel like in my life. And it, it is quite a life-changing um, experience for me too. Um, now it's kind of the, the fun part because I'm getting interviewed and not just with my daughter, but with other, <laughs> with other people too. You know, Hello Canada Magazine, Zoomer Magazine. It, it really is kind of fun. But I want to tell you, you know, I'm pretty far out of my comfort zone. You're comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's me. I learned that a long time ago that, you know, if you're staying inside your comfort zone, you're not accomplishing much. So mom, um, where can people get the book? And I heard that you're doing a thing called a virtual book launch. What is that? Yes, this is a really fun thing. We're going to have guest speakers. We're going to have readings. We're going to have all kinds of fun stuff going on. I just want to thank you so much for having me today and allowing me to share my excitement and my book with all your followers and uh, and lots of folks out there in in uh, youtube land so that's march 21st 2022 at 9 a.m pacific time and we're going to put all the information in the description below the video if you want to watch a video where i do a book review about books that are not written by my mother you can watch this video right here Thanks for watching The Real Justine Priestley channel, everybody. I am The Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist. And what I do is I help buyers and sellers overcome the stress of moving by being in their corner every step of the way. Reach out to me anytime. I'm here to help and I'm here for you. See you in the next video.